Another commonly requested game for me to cover in the series, wait, this is a series now? Is Guild Wars 2. I'm using Ubuntu Mate, or Mate, as it's apparently pronounced, 19.10 here in this video, but as with other videos in the series, the steps are practically the same across most Linux distros. And as always, the first thing we'll do is check out our display drivers. New versions of Ubuntu install them automatically, but if you're running the NVIDIA drivers and maybe you just want to double check, you can fire up Ubuntu's driver manager and see what's happening. Looks like I have NVIDIA driver version 435 here, which is perfect. Next up, we'll want to install Lutris. Since Lutris isn't available from Ubuntu's standard repos yet, we'll have to hop on over to the Lutris website and install their PPA for it. And since we're having to muck around in the terminal anyways, let's make sure Vulkan and all of the Wine dependencies are installed as well. Lutris comes with Wine, but Wine itself usually requires a bunch of system libraries, usually 32-bit ones, to run everything properly. We can install all of the dependencies required for Guild Wars 2 by simply installing the wine-stable package. Once Lutris and Friends are installed, we can open it up, click on the little magnifying glass, and see that there are two different entries for Guild Wars 2. That's a bummer. Naturally, the correct one is the entry with the title art, but once you click that, you'll see a whole bunch of different install options. Also a bummer. Fortunately, the option that works best is the default option at the top. There are a couple of optimized options at the bottom, but to be honest, I tend to stay away from those install scripts. The default install script at the top works just fine, and the install went pretty quick without any additional dialogues beside the default wine ones. The Guild Wars 2 launcher, though, it acts a little weird on Linux. I would avoid moving the window around too much because it has a tendency of jumping all over the place and possibly getting lost outside the monitor boundaries. Also, you may notice that the transparency around the launcher doesn't seem to work. That's actually normal. It doesn't affect the game at all, so just ignore it. Now, once you've logged into the launcher, finished downloading and installed in the game, you can just launch it, or at least try to. The very first time it launched, it did this weird flashing thing, and it did it a couple times, and then once I finally got in, I couldn't actually like load into a character, it complained about some weird network issue. No worries though, just relaunch the game and hope the errors go away on their own. And in my case, they did. I loaded up two of my characters, and honestly, the game ran pretty damn well. The graphics appear to be set practically at the lowest possible, but it doesn't look that bad. Guild Wars 2 is an I.O. heavy game, which means you'll really benefit from having an SSD. Some users on Linux report that the game isn't even playable with a regular hard drive because there's so much stuttering from the game loading assets from the hard drive on the fly. I noticed some pop in here and there, but I think that's just the graphic settings. The game was very playable on this machine, it has pretty low specs. But that's about it for the install instructions, and we reached the end of the video. I hope that you liked it, and if you did, be sure to leave a like on the video, comment, subscribe, and let me know what game you would like me to look at next. A lot of people have requested Grand Theft Auto V, and I'm working on a video for that, but unfortunately it's a bit more involved than I would like to cover in a regular episode. Now that doesn't mean I'm not going to, it just means that it's taking a bit longer than it normally would. I appreciate all your support, and thanks for watching.